It's early, guys. Really, really early. It's like uh, it's 5.45, I think. Something like that. It's pretty early. And this is uh, heading to LMR. Cruise in. For the point of view, an 86 Mustang. This is how you wake the neighbors up, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. But you probably don't get to see the car <laughs> with the lights on like this at night. But, uh, yeah. Let's see here. It is, I think, what, 5.30? No, it's by 5. Actually, I take that back. It's 6. Supposed to meet up at Albertsons here at 6 a.m. and then we're heading to TMS. We got early access to get the TMS, which is Texas Motor Speedway. In case you don't know, the North Texas Box Body Club has priority parking, so we're going to get there first before the gates open for everybody else, uh, so that we can all be together in one clump. Which is pretty neat. They're letting us do this. Thank you, LMR. But uh, man, it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna have a whole bunch, whole ton of like, uh, uh, you know, Fox bodies here representing from the North Texas Fox Body Club. Man, we're gonna be rocking it in Texas Motor Speedway. A whole bunch of rows, just us. And then when the gates open, boom, we're there. So it's nice, but we gotta get there early. That's the only downfall. And I'm hurrying, I'm actually running late. We're leaving at uh, 6.30 to go to uh, TMS from Albertson. So, anyways, I'm booking it. Love, man. Here we are, LMR. This is going to be badass. Look at all the guys pulling in here.
so badass. Putting that on video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now are you shy? Okay. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. What's your name, bud? Vince. Vince. Mike. This thing's sweet. All original. Yes. Yeah. Except for I just put heads and came in finally because it was just too weak. Original paint. Yes. How many miles? 77,000. 77,000 original miles. 85. Last year, the carburetor, right? Yeah. Only five speed. Yep, only five speed. And tan interior. Not gray. Dude, this is gorgeous. I'm missing one part. If you ever come across it, you can hit me up. The roller, that the, the cargo cover. <laughs> I got one. A tan one? No, not tan. I have a gray one. <laughs> I had two of them, but one of them was such bad shape, I let it go. But, yeah, man. Oh, they're expensive. I do love the white wheels on it, though. It's like the white Celine wheels. Those were laying in the back for like two years. My buddy painted them white. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. You know what I like about the interior? It hasn't been repainted. Or at least probably as I can tell it hasn't been repainted. No. It looks all original. I like the color difference, just in the different material, you yeah. know? I like uh, how all the tans are different colors. Yeah. Before you yeah. get it right. Yeah, your tan seats aren't exactly tan. They're original. I your don't know. It's weird. Your T-top sleek? No, I put all new seals. I did do that. I put new seals on mine and it still leaks, but it still leaks a little. Yeah, right, mainly back here. Yeah, right here. Getting that gap this right, right there here. Is like this impossible. right there. Yeah. This guy is okay. That water rolls in and comes this way and it doesn't seal and just goes. Same thing. Right on the seats. Same thing. That's why, like all 85, 86, or all, all the T-top seats, you see like the water stains. Yeah. Right here because you know they always got dripped on. I I got a little bit right there. Not too much. Your seat but, looks exactly worn like mine. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much more lumbar support in the passenger side and then the driver's side yeah, it's all I'm like a big ass guy. Dude. <laughs> I take up a lot of real estate. This is badass dude. It's cool, clean. Oh yeah. You no, know, because they oh, yeah. vacuum nightmare. Yeah, you got all the proper proper stuff done too, right? I still have the original air cleaner with the tubes and all that yeah. stuff in good shape. Cool. So this is pretty cool because it's so early right now that they really haven't opened the gates for anybody. So really just, you know, your badass cars here uh, for the events and uh, for like for LMR and stuff like that. The vendor, vendor cars are coming in. Look at that Cobra. That is absolutely beautiful. Stunning man, that is so stunning. First SVT, one year only. There you go. What's up, Caleb? Mike Dula, what's How you doing, up, buddy? Dude? How you I've doing, man? literally never got to meet I know, you. man. You doing alright? Hell yeah, man. Long trip. Yeah. You guys well, make it right? It wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible at all. No, it's it's better than going like we went to Foxtoberfest last weekend. Yeah. Freaking mountains and all. Oh that. my god. This one like it's flat. Yeah, you just ride. <laughs> it's flat it. here. Hell yeah, dude, you bring your car? Yeah. Oh, I bought the blue one. Yeah, my wife's Calypso. She's working, so she has to have it. So <laughs> the 79's getting built, so, you know, yep. it's just, uh, yeah, my little turd's over there. But, dude, I can't wait to see know. the EcoBoost. Oh, it's going to be neat, man. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be neat. It's Because I rode in that one uh, that Mo Speed Shop did. That car was wild. That's right. Yeah, the orange one. Yes. yes. That thing's sick. Yeah. So. See, he had a 6R80 in it, though, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Six R eighty quad. I'm kind of. I kind of wish I would have gone six R eighty on it, but I don't know, man. I, I, the T the T five is cool. No, I know. T five is keeping it light though, but it'll be yeah. fun. It ought to be a fun car, man. I, I love watching that one. Yeah. Man, throw those videos out. Though. Cool, man. Now, you guys came a long way though. What, What's eight, North Carolina? Eight and a half hours? No, Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. My bad. It's about, it's about eight it's, and a half hours. Yeah. We freaking love Texas, man. Y'all are doing it so Oh, dude. We got a... Yeah. I told her... Representing I said, here, man. I North Texas. If we left Tennessee, Texas might be one of the spots. She wants to go to the beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Say what's up, buddy. What's going on, man? We'll do that again. We'll do it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> First time we got a chance That's to right. meet. That's right. I know. I, I, we were just talking. I feel like I know this guy. Just like he knows me. It's, it's so crazy. 100%. Caleb over here, you know, we, we when we finally get a chance to meet up, it's, it's like we're old friends. Well, it's the same thing. I, I watch you guys so much, it's almost weird to see it in person, you know. But Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was telling him, I've been following the, uh, well, I followed the, the four eye. Yeah. The, the blue one. Now that you're doing, he's doing the eco yep. boost swap. Yeah, 79. Yeah. Yes. How's that going? Pretty good. It's slow. Yeah. It's slow. I, I started following, and honestly, he knows I don't watch a lot of videos, uh, but I, I do pop in. On yeah. From time to time, still. I, <laughs> I don't have the time I used to either, man. Yeah. I used to, I, I used to just bit, like binge watch all YouTube yeah. box body stuff. That's all yeah. I did. Yeah. When you I was start, just into it. When you got your own channel, and you're trying to pump it out, man. You just don't have time. Dude, and, and work has been kicking my ass. And then we bought property. We've been trying to build stuff out there, so it's hard to find time. But it is. I'm getting back now that it's getting cool weather. I'm getting back in the 79 again. I'm trying to get it painted for you know for Fox Fest yeah. next year for 23. I'm hoping to have it done by hoping to have it done by 23. But we've got to get you we'll uh, see. for a takeover next year, though. Yes. Yeah. So the idea. And I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but the, the idea is to build that 79, and my wife and I are just going to like take weeks off and tour it. Like we're going to hit yeah, all the big that's ones. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, my, my sister does that, and, and my brother-in-law, they love it, man. I mean, I want to go to Detroit in it. You know what I mean? Like I wanted, like we were going to take the same cross all across the that's all across cool, the U.S., man. man. Just, just put along. That's why it's, it's like it's it's kind of important that it's not too like too crazy and it's you know really reliable and everything. Yeah, but dude, more takeover 2023. That'd be, <laughs> be honored to have Dude, you, you gotta come, man. All right. It's, a, it's I know it's a long drive, but it's also a long drive here. It is. So, yeah. Got, I have no excuse now, right? <laughs> Midway space is on me, so just come say your merch. Right on. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we'd love to have you though. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely. Dude, it's good to see you guys in person. Seriously. Right, good to see you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. Like I said, we gotta Boom. get we gotta get selfies over. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Pouring in still. It's pretty cool, man. We're gonna take a look around, see what we can find here. People are starting to pile up finally. They got a hell of a display here of Cobra R's. We'll have to walk through that in a second just because it looks like absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen this many Cobra R's in one area. But they're showing up. It's a pretty awesome cars, man, as always. Let's see what we can find here. Look at this. Here we go. That clean red coupe. It's a good looking Cobra. So look at this. How y'all doing? Beautiful. Digging the SSP. Oh yeah. 
yeah, teal is where it's at. Look at this thing, though. Damn. Oh, I love this car, man. I've been watching this thing on social media. I've been really wanting to see it in person. Looks like Nardo Gray. A little darker than I'm going to paint Ego Bruise, but this thing is kick butt. I need to find the owner of this car here. I've been watching this thing on, on social media, so I've seen it. On the, okay, so we're on the SVT, yeah. SVT? Yeah, it's it's, uh, so uh, bad. SVT underscore uh, VIP. You put us on Instagram, right? Yes, it's uh, VIP underscore SVT. That's it, yeah, dude. Yes. I was going to say, I know I've seen this car before. What's your name? Peter. Peter? Nice to meet you, bud. Uh, Peter. I'm, I'm Mike, uh, nice to meet you. So I bought this car in March from a gentleman in New Orleans, uh, or Louisiana, and it's a Gen 1. Uh, it's got a... Um, Four tens. Uh, about to put a whipple in it and change the rims. So uh, Nardo. Uh, Nardo gray. Yeah, Nardo gray. Nardo gray. Yeah. Nardo gray with the, uh, so Gen One. It's got the digital dash, 12 inch digital dash. We did the seats. I'll show you the seats also. He did all the work himself. Did, uh, oh damn, dude. Yeah, no, he, he <laughs> worked it well. Right? So, Holy uh, crap, that's cool. Yeah, no, he did, a, he did Holy a good crap. job. Holy crap, yeah. Got Dakota Digital on it? Yes, yeah. uh, yes. Oh, no, actually, it's called, uh, it's Digital Dash. Digital yeah, Dash, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Digital yeah. Dash. So, yes. I know those guys. Yeah, so they... Yeah, EFI Digital Dash, that's, uh, that's the guy who tuned my car. Oh, really? box. Yeah. yeah. So this is a running off of Michael Squirt. So I didn't... Like, yeah, I right on, dude. Yeah, he's so been, uh, he's been great. Oh, this is sick, man. I'm, I got a 79 Coupe, I'm going to put a, um... Putting a 2.3 EcoBoost in it just for oh, the really? hell of it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And I'm gonna paint it a uh, avalanche gray. So oh, really? a, lot, a lot lighter than this, yeah, yeah. but well, that's beautiful. I like those in the 350s. Yeah. I have a, yeah. I have a couple of my Saints. I they only made it with like the 350s and the um, the Raptors, I think. Raptors, yeah. I have, I think I think so yeah, I have this one. I have a Reef Blue 93, uh, a 93 Cobra with 37,000 original miles. And uh, just bought a 2022 Heritage Edition painted, uh, painted stripe. Oh, dude, bike, right on. Okay. And, uh, 350 with the whip pull on it. With cool. Rims and this is my favorite. My yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I drive you get more attention to this, oh, don't yes, you? Yeah. yeah. You put a whip pull on this, you said? I'm gonna, we're going to put whip pulls, and I'm going to go with some of the signature rims, some custom rims made. Today. So I have a set already, and I have a like they all sit in the back. Yeah. yeah so right they're not bad, but they're, yeah, little, they're out a little bit. I'm kind of going for the guy from the Columbus thing. I haven't seen it. Yes. That we tucked underneath and I said in that way. Yeah, I mean, they're... <coughs> it's like an FR500 style wheel with a... It's, yeah. It's just the... Needs to tuck a little bit more, but it's yeah. not... So, but I said, that's why I'm going to have to go with the custom. But the black, looks, the black looks really good with the Nardo, though. Yes. That's sick, dude. I appreciate you, That's a cool car. I'm going to see what else we can find here. Beautiful day here in Texas. I filmed this car at Fox Fest and love this car because the Ode ends on it. I think this is kind of the wheel that I may go with with the uh, Eagle Brews here, except I'm thinking about going bronze with it, but. These Odans are nice and they fit the car very well. There is a Capri. Keep on piling in. Go check a look at the Cobra R's. That thing's sick. Let's see what we got here, man. Whoa. Oh man, look at this. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is so mint.
This is what my car was ordered like, new. Looked just like that. Same wheels, black. GT, 86. But it got painted blue somewhere down the road. Six nine Mach one. Is that emerald green? That's where all the clean cars are, man. <laughs> nice one. Look at this lightning. Oh my god, that's so cool. That lightning is mint. Mint lightning. Got a few Cobra R's here, huh? Jesus. That's a lot of Cobra R's. Tuning in. The key coming in, we got three rows going here. Starting to work on a fourth row, plus we got some in the back subpiling in here. So it's well over a hundred cars already. But man, we got some cool cars here. A little GT40 intake coupe. I like the uh, new edge rims. got to bring the four I love here, right? Got a couple of sick little coyotes here. Coyote swaps. I like this one because it looks like a, a nice version of mine, right? The FR500 wheels. Look, yeah. guys, I know I've seen this before. We talked about it last time, but I don't care. It's still cool. Oh, you're good, man. It reminds me of a. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of my 79. I haven't even got out of the Fox Boost section. There is Mustangs as far as the eye can see here, man. And they are just still piling in. We got a whole row of new edges here, Cobras. It's all the way down there, man. Lightning's rolling in. About scared that lady half to death. <laughs> oh, buddy, Mike. Hey, Mike Jagger. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good running car, man. Oh, dude, it's pretty. 427. Yeah. Prestige Motorsport Build. AFR, yeah, AFR had a 427, huh? Yeah. That thing will rip. Oh, yeah. It's nice. 85, right? Yeah. Yeah. The paint job's really nice, man. Appreciate it. And T top car. Top, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I 
drag race, so I'm like, that looks pretty much build this yourself? No, nah, not really, man. Not I, really? It's, uh, it already came kind of painted like that, you know, from the previous owner. Yeah. Uh, engine, I mean, of course, you know, Prestige build it. I did some of the, the, the fuel lines on it, readjusted them and stuff like that, you know. I, the front brakes, I got to do the back brakes. It's a work in progress. Yeah. You know, they all are. So, no, nah, man, it runs pretty good. 85 miles an hour going down the highway. Dude, yeah, it's sick, man. Yeah. Good choice on wheels too. Appreciate the the copper and the black. I mean the yeah, bronze, the bronze yeah. and the black makes it, man. It just yeah, looks. Man, it pops. It does of, pop. A lot of people are not big fans, but I like it. That's beautiful, dude. Appreciate it. Well, it's nice, nice to meet you too. I'm up. <laughs> you you drove in it with that with that on, right? Yeah, we trailered okay. it here, but what color is that? I mean, it is real, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. The wig? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, tuxedo line. You know that's my jam. Dude. That's cool. Dude, this, this thing's clean, man. I did it in my garage. Did you really? Yeah. Damn, dude. Two part garage. Yeah, that thing's sick. Dude. Dude, that's a hell of a job in your paint job. It's clean. It smells new. What was your name, what was your name again? Mike. Mike, that's right. Uh, you think I remember that? Yeah, I have the white. Just saying. Uh, the white turbo car also. Okay. Let's talk about it. Oh, double, double YouTubing it. Let me get out of Brutal's. <laughs> I gotta get out of Brutal's feet here. cars out here. I haven't even made it to the other Mustang section yet. This is nothing but foxes over here. And now we've got four rows going here. We got foxes inside this pavilion here. There's just almost too many cars to look at here. But man, and this is the famous car here that uh, was in the Good Guys show. Good Guys pace car. I think this thing was at SEMA. So this thing is absolutely sicker than shit. I've been looking forward to seeing this thing in person. Yeah, look at that. Life goals right there. What's up, Adam? You haven't been on camera yet. You gotta say hi at least again. This is the painter. This is the man, the painter man. <laughs> He's gonna be helping us with Ego Bruce. We do a lot, you'll see him a lot more once we get there, but once I ever get there, if I ever get there, he's gonna be big time help. It's gonna be kind of like my guided hand painting the car. So looking forward to yeah. it, man. Not gonna look bad. It's not no, look of bad. course not, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> Shit. Everything he touches looks awesome. Yeah, there's some cars out here, a lot of cars I had never seen, which is cool. A lot of people come out of state from here, I think, because yeah. a, lot of, a lot of new cars here. Like there's an Arkansas plate right there, California, California plate. I mean, look at that clean vert. That thing's awesome. That clean coupe. Oh, yeah. Damn. Check this out. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Mike. Kyle, hey. Kyle, nice to meet you, buddy. I was drawn to this here because of this, uh, this, this low-profile setup you got here. And, uh, yeah, no cow hood. What do you got here? It's loud. It's a 351. 351. 351. See, with a torque storm. With a torque storm, supercharger. And you got all that to fit on the hood, man. That's that's cool. Yeah. Still have AC and power seat. got AC. This is 86. <laughs> it's 86, right? Yeah. 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 Dude, and you're running on what? What's the uh, controller? Uh, it's a Holly Terminator. It's a Holly Terminator X. Yeah. This is neat, man. It's neat just because it's different. And uh, the fact that you kept 
the stock hood on it to me is just cool. Yeah. Because their original was supposed to go just right here, but this was too high. It was going to make a, a, even a cow. Oh, yeah. Too you, small. Yeah. So I had to do some little. I was, yeah, you could tell. You could figure out how to do that. Yeah, that's an impressive uh, intake setup. Thank you. Thank you. Like it is, man. It's just the, the low profile. Look how small that throttle body is. Or how narrow it is. I like seeing the one offs like that. That's neat, man. Neat. Neat find. Didn't see a Kaidu swap coming in this one, did you? <laughs> That's cool, man. I love it. I love the Kaidu swaps in the one off, kind of obscure, kind of rusty beater look. You gotta love the seats, man. Look at this thing. <laughs> All right. Time to go home. Man, I've talked to a lot of cool people. Oh man, what an awesome, awesome event. Like I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you guys how cool it was. If you didn't make it out there, really try to, you know, get some time, make it next year. Um, but I really gotta say that's probably like, I don't know, it's probably the single most coolest or at least one of the coolest uh, Mustang events I've been to. This seat's really, really close. Um, I've been to, um, and I don't, I don't know why, I think it's because I don't, there was more cars there than I, I remember seeing. There's a lot of new cars there and guys, every car out there was insanely nice. I mean, it was like over the top. Um, every car out there was nice. So just a whole collection of cool cars in one spot. It really truly is uh, like a Fox Body Heaven type event. It was so, I spent the whole day there just in the Fox Body section, never made it outside of the Fox group and uh, to even look at all the other Mustangs because there was so much to see and do just in um, just in our Fox body section there. So it's pretty cool they grouped us into one section even though I heard there's a lot of other Foxes spread out you know, throughout the event. And I'm talking about guys, we probably only saw like a third of the whole event or less, okay? Because the majority of that event is, is all new Mustangs essentially. Uh, but didn't make my way over there, just was uh, enjoying the, uh, the Fox bodies, meeting all the people, talking to a lot of fans. And I have to tell you that it was kind of like a starstruck moment for me. I was kind of fanboying a little bit whenever I was talking to Brutal and uh, Foxcast. Those guys, and I gotta say something real quick about these two guys, man. They they are truly stand-up dudes um, every way possible. Um, it's so cool that they make the trip all the way down here to Texas um, to support the Fox body community. Um, but they are like, they're no joke. They're the real deal. They are real, honest, good guys, and they are complete Fox fanatics. Um, so it's just really, really cool to meet them in person. It's kind of weird because I watch those guys so much on YouTube, but I do have to say they're both stand-up guys um, and super cool. So I had an absolute blast um, hanging out with those two guys and talking to them. Um, so a lot of it I couldn't get on camera, unfortunately, because the video was getting quite long. And also, if I talked to you and I talked about your car, guys, there was a, there was a, a, a group of guys from Austin that really wanted to put on the video, um, but their the video or the camera just stopped recording, didn't even know it. So I didn't get the feed, so things like that happen. Um, but yeah, if I if I talked to you and you didn't make the video, I'm really sorry. I apologize. We'll get you next time. But I can't, I cannot say how much fun I had. Um, just had an absolute, absolute blast out there. LMR does a hell of a job setting the stuff up, and getting everyone together, um, and it's really starting to become one of my favorite events of the year. I mean, realistically, Fox Fest and LMR, it's it gives me all the Fox by love I need, and I'm 
I just I could do it every weekend. <laughs> so had an absolute blast, guys. If you didn't make it out there, come out next week, and I'll have our next year. I'll have a booth. Hopefully, Ego Bruce will here will be done. I got to tell you, looking at all these cars out here just got me excited. Um, I am I'm stoked. I'm ready to get started on Ego Bruce here and just start kicking ass on it because it it really did excite me. Um, it's really cool to see some of the coupes out there, and just it just made me dream about everything I wanted to do with this one when I was out there. If you can't tell, I was looking at all the cars, just thinking, oh, I can't wait to do this to Eagle Brews. And Eagle Brews was on my mind the whole time, looking out there, all, all these other cars out there, all I could think about was building this. So, and then all I could think about last night. So, hey, guys, that's it. Stop talking, Mike. Hope you enjoy the video. And, uh, yeah. We got lots more coming. There's lots coming on Eagle Brews here. I got lots of work doing. I'm putting the intercooler in right now. Stay tuned for that. Lots more content coming on Eagle Brews. And also, follow me on Instagram. You can do that. You can also go to houseofdoula.com where you get everything in one. You get, the, you get the Facebook group feed, you get the Instagram feed, and you get links to all the videos, okay? And you also get links to events, stuff like that that may be happening. So that's kind of cool. Check it all out there. If not, we'll see you next time on House of Doula. See you later.